let's talk about the floor function. And in the next two minutes, I'm going to show you how to calculate the floor of any number. I'm Don Subsic, founder of Math Celebrity. So let's get started. What is the floor function? Well, it finds the greatest integer less than or equal to a number. And the floor of a number x is denoted as this right here. So we've got half braces where the bottoms are showing, the tops are cut out. And to find a floor of a number, there's two checks you do. First, you check to see if a number is an integer. And if they're asking for the floor of an integer, the floor just equals that number. If it's not an integer, you're going to find the integer less than the number. So the closest integer less than the number. Let's look at a few examples. Let's find the floor of 35.231, denoted as floor of 35.231. Let's go through our floor rules. If this number is an integer, it's not, so we skip. Let's go to the next step. If this number is not an integer, yes, it's not an integer. We want to find the closest integer less than the number. We're going to round down and the highest integer less than 35.231 is 35. So the floor of 35.231 equals 35. Let's look at another example. We want to find the floor of 39. We'll walk through our floor rules. Is this number an integer? Yes, it is. And because it is, because 39 is an integer, the floor also equals 39. Now, let's walk through one more example. Negative numbers. We want to find the floor of negative 35.231. We go through our two-step floor rules. It's not an integer, so we move to step two. It is a decimal. We're going to round down to the highest integer less than negative 35.231. Because it's negative, we're moving left on the number line, it's negative 36. This is the floor of negative 35.231. So we've walked through three examples, a positive decimal, an integer, and a negative decimal. What if you need help with numbers in the future and you don't want to mix and match with this presentation? Well, I've got the calculator just for you. If you go to, and I'm going to put a link, it looks like it's misspelled here, I'm going to put a link to this, the correct link, in the YouTube description. When you get to that link, you're going to type something like this. You do floor, and then you type your number. And I'll show you how that works. You can pick any number you want. So let's go ahead and say floor 45.678912. Hit return and it will run the steps from our floor presentation. And so it figures out it's not an integer, it's a decimal. Find the greatest integer less than the number, which is 45. And as a bonus on this calculator, no matter what number you choose, we're also going to show you how to find the floor in Excel and Google Sheets. So all you do is just type floor and your number. You could do parentheses if you want and it will run the floor steps like we did in our presentation and give you the floor of your number. I want to thank you for watching the video today and I'll see you in the next video.